Hey everybody and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2021 Stryker 3212 Toy Hauler Travel Trailer. We're going to do a quick RV tour. We're going to go around the inside of the RV and we're going to come back to the outside of the RV and then we're going to close it all up show you what it looks like closed. This one's got a lot of really cool features with a side porch, a back porch, and a lot of nice stuff inside. We'll be right back. All right, guys, we're now up inside this new Stryker 3212 here. We're going to start here looking in the kitchen area. Now, as you can see, up top, out of the way, is the TV. A lot of you guys are really going out to ride your toys and go off-roading and things like that. So TVs sometimes are a little bit more of an afterthought. But uh, on those days you're rained in or snowed in, depending on what your uh, toy might be, you do have a nice flat screen TV here. There's room for one in the garage and also room for one in the bedroom as well. You have a really nice high arched ceiling height in here. So it feels big, almost kind of like a fifth wheel kind of setup. You have a large cabinet, kind of deep cabinet there next to the TV area on the left. And then you're gonna also have more cabinet space on the right above the microwave area. Really good size microwave as well. Solid surface kitchen countertops, high rise faucet. You have the single bowl sink. Now down on the side of the cabinet here is a large storage area as well. So you could put quite a bit of stuff there or even kind of hide your trash can in that area. Now down below here on the left is going to be your electric box with your breakers and fuses that you've seen pop up there. You have your kind of in command little center right here in this section. So you've got your slide buttons, awning button, auxiliary button for the uh, red light underneath. You can have your patio light switches, cap light switches, interior light switches, water heater on gas and electric switch here, along with your monitor panel for your holding tanks and your battery meter. So you have quite a bit of stuff here in this little section. And then just below that is your thermostat for your air conditioner and your furnace. Now to the right, this nice little mirror set up here, but you open that up and you have a big storage compartment here you can kind of use as a pantry if you want to. And just below that is the uh, furnace intake. Now you can also see there's a light switch and an electric outlet switch next to that window. That window does actually open as well. You have your gas and electric refrigerator. This one's by Dometic and it does have a little bit of storage over top of there as well. This is about an eight cubic foot refrigerator. You have some more overhead cabinetry up top. Also some little LED accent lighting up top as well. Nice big sliding glass door looking back into your garage area or second bedroom area. Um, basically, they wanted to make this feel as open as possible instead of just having a wall there with a flat panel door. So it does make the unit feel even larger. Down below here, you have obviously your oven. It's a glass front, three burner stove top with a glass lid, LED lights built in, some storage down below and to the right area there that you've seen pop up. And now you're also gonna see three full extending ball bearing drawer guides pop up there. So you got some nice drawer space there. And on the left side of the counter down here is also your propane leak detector. Now, just up to the right of the microwave is your stereo system. Really nice stereo head unit with a kicker amplifier down below as well. So you're going to have kicker speakers in the ceiling, outside, and a kicker sub you'll see in the garage when we go into the garage area. Plenty of seating space in here as well. So you can sit 
five people in this, maybe six if you squeeze in a little bit. But you can sit quite a few people in here, kick back and relax, and you know, watch a movie together if you want to. Um, also eat here as well. You have two removable tables. I've got one in so you can see what it looks like, and the other one just kind of laying there. But I wanted to at least show you what one looks like there. There's cup holders on each end, which do have USB charger ports and built-in lights right there. Now the three center seats do actually fold down and there's also USB charger ports and cup holders built in there as well. And those do recline also. Now going back the hallway area here, we are going to enter our bathroom. And also you can kind of see they use kind of a grayish shade wood. So it's a little different wood tone. Decent sized little uh, storage space underneath that sink area there. Medicine cabinet area. And then you also have some high overhead space as well. That you see them pop up there. Skylight up above and there's also a roof vent fan up there as well. Air conditioning and heat both in here. We're going to also pop up a few more pictures here so it's a little easier to see. Do you have the foot flush toilet, little shower area with the ABS tub surround. And there's also a little shelf up there as well on the wall. The bathroom door does lock and there's a decent amount of room in there to get in and out and get dressed. It's not the biggest bathroom for an RV, but it's not the smallest. It's a pretty good size for this unit. Over here, you have your bedroom area. You're gonna have overhead cabinets across the top, hanging closet and pull-out drawer on each side. There's also an electric outlet on each side of the bed as well. This is a camper king bed, so it is larger than the average RV bed. The bed does also raise up, so there is storage underneath of there as well. And you can walk around the bed fairly easy. Room for a small TV to go over there. You have hookups up there. Another exhaust fan up there. Nice size window there, again, that does open, pull down nightshades. And same thing with the one over here on the left. It does also open and acts as an emergency exit if needed. Now the door here does actually slide. It is a sliding pocket door that you're seeing pop up there. Now going back into the garage area back here, or second bedroom, depending on what you want to use it for, you have the dinette area back here. This bottom bunk will make into a bed or a dinette, either one. And I have pinned up here the secondary bunk, but you have a traditional bed there and a lower bed as well, or dinette area. Now, you see carpet on the floor, that's a roll-up carpet. You don't have to use that if you don't want to. It has the traditional rubber diamond plate floor. It does have a little bit of what they call a beaver tail, a sloped rear end, so it's easier for the toys to ride up in here as well. This one was also ordered with the party deck system. So you have cables and rails out here, so you can kind of kick back and relax back here on a nice day. Now the unit also has a screen section that you'll see pop up here as well with a zipper in the middle. You can just use the screen part or drop down the flappers for privacy as well. Pretty cool little setup. Nice high arch to that roof on the outside as well so it gets plenty of water runoff. Looking back into this section, you do have TV hookups up there in the ceiling. So in that right hand upper corner, you could do a flat screen TV up there if you wanted to. 
Overhead cabinets on the right side here. So again, you have more storage space if somebody's kind of using this for a bedroom area back here. And more storage up there uh, on the top left. And again, that top left storage goes through to the other side. Down below in that lower right corner is a kicker competition sub speaker. So you have, again, kicker speakers inside out and a sub as well. So a little bit more expensive stereo system than what's in most RVs. You also have an entry and exit door going out of the garage over here as well. Now your bed up and down button is right here along with a light switch and then it's pre-wired for second air conditioner. If you wanted to add it, this customer chose not to, but if you need it, especially if you're down south, this is where that wiring is. Or again, order it from the factory already with it on it. Pretty cool, we have a side porch area here as well. So again, speakers outside right there. TV out here. The little door cover also acts as kind of a little shelf area to set things. Sliding glass door, which is tented pretty well, along with a screen door. You even have your LED light strip out here. Again, guys, be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. We're gonna head on to the outside and kind of show you what it looks like outside. Then we're gonna close it all up and show you what it looks like with the slide closed. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Striker toy hauler trailer. Again, the 3212 model. And we're gonna start here on the door side. Looking down this door side of the RV, you can see you have white fiberglass exterior covered with a nice vinyl graphic. The lower portion of the RV is covered with a metal skirting. There's a large storage compartment here on the front side of the RV. And you can see back up in there, aluminum tube framing along with a light and a battery disconnect. Another nice feature is the door of that storage compartment. It's held up by a magnetic clip and also has the Kia-like slam lock baggage doors. So the key for that door works the entry door, which also works the uh, door for your fuel station and all the things in between. So a pretty cool little setup where they key it alike. And also that little key has a little flashlight built in, which is kind of nice too. Um, down below, you can see power stabilizer jacks. Those are now standard on the Striker product. So you have power front and rear electric jacks, fully enclosed underbelly that you've seen there, along with the low point hot and cold water drains back there as well. Now moving down the side a little bit here is your 10 gallon gas and electric water heater, a spray port, city water connection, black tank flush, and your portable water fill, along with your furnace exhaust up above and a little drain up there. So kind of a little docking station area, most things hooked up right there in that section. Triple entrance step going in and out of the RV. You have a large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. Next to that entry handle is also your model number, along with the sticker basically kind of telling you about the limited three-year structural warranty. It's a nice standard feature for the Cruiser RV line. A lot of brands are starting to do a three-year structural warranty, but not all have. Some are still only one, so that is a nice bonus feature for the Cruiser brand. Um, also, you'll see the extended season sticker here, again, kind of referring to the underbelly being covered along with a heat duct blowing heat down into that basement section there. And a little electric outlet there as well. You have the side porch on this model. Pretty cool feature here that uh, you did see while we were inside there. But it does have a little support leg on it along with the cables to help hold everything up and in place. Power awning. Again, another nice feature here. You push a button, it goes in and out. Has the 
spot on the end of the uh, head up there to where you can manually crank it in in case of an electronic failure. The arms are adjustable for tilting and water runoff. There's an LED light strip also built in up there. And you also have a traditional porch light up there as well. And depending on which direction you flip the light switch, you'll either have a porch light or the LED strip, depending on how much light you want. Now, you also have an auxiliary light that you'll see pop up here, which is a red LED light strip underneath the bottom of the coach. Just another little decorative touch. Now, down along the back section here, you again have your power rear jacks, but you can also see pop up there your spare tire mounted underneath the bottom of the RV. And then below the S on the striker name there is one of the side vents. You also have another side security light up there as well. So just on this side of the RV, you have a porch light, an LED light, a side light, and a lower red LED light strip. So quite a bit of lighting on the outside of the RV. Again, the back porch that you've seen when we were inside as well, but you also see more lights up top. So there you again have more lighting out here to kind of brighten up your night. Those definitely help when trying to load at nighttime as well. And up top above that center marker light there is the pre-wire for backup camera or observation camera. I would definitely recommend the observation camera by Furion. Really nice camera to have. Um, it allows you to use the camera while you're driving down the road and just kind of see when you're getting over and things going on behind you. Uh, definitely like to have that feature on my RV. Now here on the side back here you have a ladder so you can climb up get up on the roof. The ladder kind of folds up it's in up mode at the moment against the side wall but you pull a couple pins it folds down repin it and then you can climb up and down. Now that ladder is rated for 250 pounds. On this side of the RV again you have another security light back here so you can just kind of see again what's going on on this side of the RV at nighttime. Now down below, you'll see pop up here in the picture, you have your fuel station, along with your fuel gauge, on off switch, the actual fill for it as well. And to the left of that is your cable and satellite inlets, along with your 50 amp detachable power cord hookup right there. Another triple entrance step going into the garage from this side of the RV. This RV door here still has a traditional screen door and window in it as well. The windows on the RV are also deep tent safety glass windows. Now you have dual axle aluminum wheels and you also have the upgraded suspension in the middle. That's standard on Striker, but not on most toy haulers. So that is a nice upgraded suspension system that you've seen pop up there. Just kind of helps absorb some of the road shock and bounce on the RV. The two black panels here are refrigerator access panels for venting and maintenance purposes. And also the little black panel up, in, up there as well is for venting of the toy hauler room. Going on around to this side of the RV, this one was ordered with the generator. This is an Onan 5500 watt gasoline generator. Now this runs traditionally off of the one standard fuel tank that you've seen in the back back there. But you can also order the RV with a second fuel tank, 18 gallons, that would just be dedicated for the generator. So you'd have one for the toys, one for the generator. Most dealers stock it with just one tank and it works both of the appliances. Now, kind of looking down below here, you'll see your dump area. So you have a black handle flush here for uh, to pull here for your black tank. Now over toward the actual outlet over there is another handle for the gray tank. But those all come out of one area right there. And also your dump hose tube is right there along the frame because you don't have a traditional RV bumper on a toy hauler. 
Now you're going to also see pop up here is going to be your gross vehicle weight sticker with your production date and your VIN number, your axle size, all that type of stuff is right here. You're going to see your unloaded vehicle weight pop up as well, along with your tire size sticker pop up. And you will also see your carrying capacity sticker. Now, moving on around to the front of the RV, you have a lower diamond plate across the lower front section there. And then it has a three quarter fiberglass front cap. So a heavy duty cap. It's a lot stronger than the traditional flat front. Then you also have LED light strips that you see right here built in. Your propane tanks below the black cover there room for a battery to go there power tongue jack with a built-in light manual override as well your heavy duty safety chains seven-way bargman plug with your basically works your lights and also for your brakes and stuff to travel through make sure you have a brake controller on your vehicle and the ball is a two and five sixteenths hitch ball now this customer chose to go with the blue ox sway pro hitching system that you see right there nice hitch system i really like it for the fact that you can adjust it on the fly so if you are going to hook up and just go camping not take any toys you can quickly adjust that if you're going to load a toy you can again quickly adjust it some of those solid bars that sit on the l-shaped brackets you can't just quickly adjust those you have to unbolt those adjust those brackets up and down depending on your load capacity and move them so it is kind of nice to be able to adjust on the fly the blue ox sway pro really nice hitch system definitely talk with your salesperson about that if that interests you uh, they also sell other brands of hitching at couches rv nation and they'll be glad to kind of go over those with you as well now we're going to go inside close it all up and we'll be right back all right, guys, we're now back inside the RV, and I want to show you what it looks like with the slide closing. And we're going to push the button. Basically, that's over there on that control panel. So you push that button to bring the room in. The room does kind of tilt upward a little bit because it's a flush floor slide, so it tilts up a bit and comes on in. Now, when it gets in, it kind of makes a little bit of a ratchety noise, and you'll somewhat see the lights dim down as well. Okay, so now once it's in, you kind of see what it looks like here. So you could kind of climb over the couch a little bit to get in here if you needed to, but it does technically block the bathroom door, so you will have to push the button to bring it back out. Now, if you needed to just get in here in order to kind of get to the refrigerator, if you're stopping at a rest area or something like that, you can always come in the back garage door, come right in here to the kitchen area and get to your refrigerator. But if you needed to come in and use the restroom, you would bump the slide out out some so you could get to the bathroom. We're going to put it all the way back out here that you're seeing. But pretty simple little setup. Just push the button, it goes in and out. You can let off of it in between if you need to, uh, just to kind of bump it out a little bit again to get to that bathroom if you need it. Nice and easy to do. All right, guys, appreciate you checking out the video. Again, check out CouchesRVNation.com. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell icon if you're interested in keeping up with more of the RV videos.